Humpback whales occur worldwide in all major oceans and their numbers are on the increase. As their numbers have risen, so has their range, and they have also been seen in places where they were previously thought only to be vagrant, such as off the coast of the Netherlands, the Red Sea and the Mediterranean. It has been estimated that the population of humpback whales worldwide was once as high as one and a half million, but due to commercial whaling, numbers were decimated. But now, the ICUN has humpback whales on the red list as least concern with an estimate of 84,000 individuals worldwide. The International Whaling Commission has protected humpback whales from commercial whaling in the North Atlantic since 1955, in the Southern Hemisphere since 1963 and in the North Pacific since 1966. But illegal catches continued in the Southern Hemisphere and the North Pacific for several years after that and it wasn't until the 1985-1986 season that there was a ban on commercial whaling on all species of whale and for all populations. However, humpback whales still continue to be hunted for subsistence purposes in Greenland and by the Grenadines and St Vincent. Although very few are taken, for Greenland for the years 2019 to 2025 there is a limit of 10 whales and for St Vincent and the Grenadines it should not exceed 28. Some countries such as Norway, Iceland and Japan continue to hunt a small number of whales commercially or for scientific research, but humpbacks are not one of the species taken. There are 14 distinct populations of humpback whales and not all of them are seeing an increase in numbers. The populations of Central America, Northwest Africa, the Arabian Sea and in the Western North Pacific are still endangered and a population near Mexico is listed as threatened. The population of humpback whales in the Arabian Sea is unique in that they do not migrate but feed and reproduce in the same area. Photo identification has revealed that there are fewer than 100 individuals. The population was hunted illegally by the Soviet Union with 4 killed in 1965 and 238 killed in 1966. This population faces many threats due to human activity entanglement in fishing nets being one of them. Although data is limited on the number entangled each year, photographs show that 30 to 40% of individuals have entanglement wounds and scars, and 11 individuals have been rescued from nets by research teams and fishermen over the last 20 years. Ship strikes and noise are also a major problem. The region has some of the world's busiest shipping lanes and new fast ferry links are being planned. There is also a great deal of port construction and expansion in key humpback whale habitats. On top of all this, there is also lots of coastal development to cope with the increase in human population in this area. Oil and gas exploration and production is also of concern due to seismic surveys, construction and drilling noise, as well as the associated vessel traffic and the potential for oil leaks. Without further efforts to mitigate the threats, this population of humpback whales are considered to be at a high risk of extinction. However, some populations have made a spectacular comeback. The Western South Atlantic population of humpback whales is one such population. It is estimated that in 1958, only 440 individuals were left, having dropped from around 24,700 in 1904. That is only a staggering 1.6% of the original population that survived. In 2019, their population was estimated to be 24,900 whales, a recovery of nearly 93% of its pre-exploitation abundance. There is a high probability that the population will be back to 100% in 2030, which is fantastic news. This population of humpback whales mate and calf off the eastern coast of South America over the austral winter and then migrate to their summer feeding grounds in the South Atlantic near South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands. This population has been hunted since the early 1800s, but the most devastating toll on their numbers took place when whaling stations appeared on South Georgia in 1904. It is estimated that nearly 25,000 whales were caught in the years 1904 to 1916, with between 40,000 and 60,000 individuals from this population being killed by whaling since the early 1800s. But no whaling occurred after 1972, and the population increased rapidly until the present. 
It is a similar story for the Eastern Australian humpback population, where numbers are continuing to grow. Models have predicted a peak abundance ranging from 63,000 to 52,000 whales anywhere between 2021 and 2026. This great news causes some concern as to whether the Antarctic ecosystem can again sustain such large numbers. It did in the past, but things have changed thanks to global climate change. Humpback whales feed on krill and small fish, and I have talked in a previous video about Antarctic krill depending on sea ice to overwinter and feed on the algae that live immediately under the ice and within it. Since 2014, there has been a reduction in sea ice in the Antarctic, which will impact on the number of krill. There are fears that there will come a time when there will not be enough food to sustain the huge appetite of these gentle giants. There are also projections that suggest an ice-free Arctic in summer by 2040, which will have an impact on the populations of humpback whales which feed there. It would be such a great tragedy if, having stopped hunting these beautiful creatures and witnessed their numbers increasing so spectacularly in at least most populations, they cannot survive due to the impacts of anthropogenic climate change.